guys welcome back to my channel so our next video is from officer tantum and he says vivian kromoswami triggers the view when he declares transitioning case is cruel which is very cruel let's check this video out and i trust vivek ramaswami vivek ramaswami to put them in their rightful place let's check this out and I'm sorry, it is not compassionate to affirm a kid's confusion. That is not compassion, that is cruelty. What I wanted to see last night, and it was hard to watch because there was a lot of overtalk, was substance. And the only two people on that stage that I saw say things were Nikki Haley and Chris Christie that made any sense. And I mean, if you have to pick someone on that stage, because there was a part that was really hard as someone who, who believes in the things I believe when they all spoke about trans people, that actually, like, almost made me emotional watching because it's clear to me that not everyone on that stage is an evil person. They don't understand. Vivek schooled him on this one. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, get you one of these shirts. We got a bunch of new stuff coming out, but this is my favorite one. I just like to wear this one a lot. So this is the one you see. We got hoodies out, all of the above. We have them out available for you to purchase on the store right now. Like, subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Vivek Ramaswamy, uh, you know, nobody has the ability in, in this entire race, in my opinion, including Trump, DeSantis, nobody have the ability like Vivek Ramaswamy to methodically point out reality in a very succinct and impact, impactful way as the way that he uh, expresses his thoughts in these particular subject matters. You know, when he talked about the uh, trans stuff, you know, the kids transition and stuff, he did a better job explaining this than anybody on planet Earth. Now, you know the dumb brain dead women from the view got mad at this but but like i just want to ask y'all a real question whether you follow me or not whether you subscribe to my channel or not i know you watching i'm gonna ask you a real question what was wrong with what vivek had to say with to this question can you find a flaw put it in the comment section if you could tell me something that was wrong not that it made you feel some type of way not that it hurt your feelings not that it hurt your friend cousins baby daddy friend co-worker feelings, but did it really have a factual basis or not based on what he said when it comes to the LGBTQ, LGBTQAARP? Roll the clip. I have to be very clear about this. Transgenderism, especially in kids, is a mental health disorder. We have to acknowledge the truth of that for what it is. I met two young women early in this campaign. On parental rights in school. Parents have the right to know. And you know what the hypocrisy of this is? Even New Hampshire failed to actually get past a piece of legislation here. The very people who say that this increases the risk of suicide are also the ones saying that parents don't have the right to know about that increased risk of suicide. And I'm sorry, it is not compassionate to affirm a kid's confusion. That is not compassion, that is cruelty. I met two young women, Chloe and Katie, early in this campaign who are in their 20s now regret getting double mastectomies and a hysterectomy. One of them will never have children. And the fact that we allowed that to happen in this country is barbaric. So I will ban genital mutilation or chemical okay, castration know, under the age of 18. And parents in, in, have absolutely the right. Would you try right. to pass a federal law that says parents, parents should have that right? We are going to require yes. states absolutely okay. have to then follow that through. We stand for parental rights. Yes. You, what I wanted to all right, you're going to get to the dummies in a minute, but what did he have to say that was wrong? It is a mental disorder. If a kid is a boy and it's in his mind he envisioned himself being what he think a girl is, because you, you clearly don't know what a girl is. You ain't never been a girl. How do you know what a girl is or what a girl feels like if you ain't never been a girl? It's a facade of what is going on in the mind that's, in my opinion, it, you, you're lusting for, you have a fetish for, imagining what it's like to be a girl, and that's what you want to embrace. It's no way in the world that you can feel like something that you've never been. You can feel like something that nobody can describe the feeling. What does it mean, I feel like I'm a girl? Now, I, I don't want to go down that path too far. But what he said was that it's a mental disorder, and it is. It, it's called gender dysphoria. And I honestly believe we kids on a multitude of levels, they cannot um, make decisions on what school they go to. They can't make decisions on which parent they live with. They can't make decisions on 
whether or not they can drive a car, they can join the military, they can buy alcohol, they can look at certain movies. I mean, kids, there's discretion for children who are under the age of culpability, even mental culpability, and somehow you think that a final decision of taking puberty blockers and changing your gender is something that kids somehow uh, mature enough to understand that and they can't understand all these other things. But but let me play what the brain dead people from The View said so we, we, we know where we stand. Wrote a clip. See last night, and it was hard to watch because there was a lot of overtalk, was substance. And the only two people on that stage that I saw say things were Nikki Haley and Chris Christie that made any sense. And I... They want the people... She, she clearly said that because these are the people that have no chance of winning. See, guys, eh? The people that have Even substance, like Ron DeSantis, who has a track record... Vivek oh, Ramaswamy, the coldest talking politician What's in the country right now. It's and then wrong. even Tim Scott. What, oh, you can't hear Tim Scott? Wrong. They don't want you to talk about them because they are the hardest hitting politicians right now on the Republican side. I mean, if you have to pick someone on that stage, because there was a part was so that was really hard as someone who, who believes in the things I believe when they all spoke about trans people. That actually, like almost made me emotional watching because it's clear to me that not everyone on that stage is an evil person. They don't understand. And it shows me they don't know one single trans person. Yeah. They've never met anyone. And what's happening... Vivek just said he had two women that have this, that regret that they had a mastectomy or whatever, triple mastectomy, a double mastectomy, and they had a... Uh, I forget the other thing he had said. But he knew two people. He gave you an example of those two women. I could go online right now and show you a group of people who regret transitioning. So why are, you, why are they making this stuff up? They're just talking. They're making it up. You've got a couple, which is, uh, so there are 1% uh, of... Look at your sorry, paper. 0.5... Yeah, look at your paper. ...percent of all U.S. adults are trans. 1% of that 0.5% regret some kind of transition. Those people are in some kind of activist mission. So the only trans people these people on this stage have probably met in their lives is someone trying to convince them of something. So why do they keep... But just because a person doesn't come out and be able to become an activist of regret the transition don't mean that they don't regret the transition. These people got to be stupid to think that that many people have transitioned and they don't regret it. You, 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 like, you can look at people that got married. You think, you think just 1% of people who complain about their marriage regret, you know, they're the only ones that regret it. There's a bunch of people that regret their marriage and they ain't never going to say nothing. Regret having kids. They ain't never going to say nothing. Regret the job that they've chosen. They ain't never going to say nothing. I bet you there's probably 40, 50, 60% of people who transition who may have some regrets or doubts as to the validity and the reason why they... See, it's not even about regrets. It's about taking decisions. Guys, decisions that have massive consequences are ah, out of the hands of children. Oh God, may God help our innocent children who are facing this right now. May, just, may God just help them. Amen. Well, one, it, it matters, but it is a small percentage. It's, it's, a, it's a distraction. It's just a distraction and a scapegoat. No, it's not. They went really they firm on it. They were talking about it being a mental disorder. I mean, it was hard to the listen Beck to. Beck was disqualifying in how he talked about it. What really pissed me off is the, when they talk about I want to call them some H's. I want to call them B's. I, God, I, I know you see my heart, and you know I don't want to do this. But, like, these women frustrate me so much, and they're, su they're such a waste of oxygen on Earth that it just makes me infuriated to say that it's not a mental illness for that dumb fake Republican to say that Vivek disqualified himself because he's given a medical explanation of what's going on with these young people and they refuse to they refuse to acknowledge it they try to say oh the people that regret it they don't count they, they, they don't count the people that say listen I'm, t I'm, I'm warning young people I regretted my decision no, you don't count your, your feelings don't count you're a distraction they, they, they claim they care about trans people, but only the ones that they identify with. Crime. Because I'm a big anti-gun person in terms of, you know, shoot up, you know, mass shootings, et cetera, and these AR-15s. Even though I said the other day that if there was a loose criminal in the neighborhood like there was a couple of weeks ago, I would like to have a handgun. So I'm not 100% against guns. But they you like to have a handgun. When you like to have an AR-15, you ignorant fool. If a dude has got an AR-15, you can give a... It don't it matter that you got a handgun. You got a guy on a loose with a 5.56 five, turning through, turn through the community. You want a handgun? 
They are so pro NRA, this entire group of, of this clown car that was up there last <laughs> night. Not one of them <laughs> talked about guns. We didn't even talk about the Second Amendment. I don't think they talk about the Second Amendment not one time in the debate. These people are stupid on The View. And at the same time that they want to increase gun ownership and reduce crime, they, they don't understand the connection between crime and the guns. So if you have criminals who are mentally ill, a lot of them have guns. Okay, have a gun. Here's another gun. Walk around the street with another gun. And then they worry about crime. They don't make sense. They don't you put don't make together. sense together. They, they were you don't make sense. You dumb B. You don't make sense. Completely irrational, these people. And you know what? You, you, you talk about low information voters. These are look, low look. information candidates. Just like you said about the trans community. They don't even understand it. So how can you expect the American people to understand any of these? They don't, I don't know what they were talking about. You, these people act like these people are the stupidest bees in, the, in America. And I call them bees. I ain't going to call them the full thing because I'm trying to be a good Christian. At least I can do is just not say the whole thing. Let me just explain this. And I've been on this, this video for too long. These people, they are not acting in good faith. You cannot tell me you watch the debate and you don't understand what these people are talking about. They spoke about way more than transgenderism and this other stuff. They spoke about the economy. They spoke about all kinds of stuff, man. I mean, this is one part. Of Vivek was probably the only one that gave a response to it. Vivek was probably the only candidate that even gave a response to the LGBTQ thing. Nobody else even talked about it. But these women... That's why they all go to hell, in my opinion. I have to be very clear about this. Transgenderism, especially in kids, is a mental health disorder. We have to acknowledge the truth of that for what it is. I met two young women early in this campaign. On parental rights in school. Parents have the right to know. And you know what the hypocrisy of this is? Even New Hampshire failed to actually get past a piece of legislation here. The very people who say that this increases the risk of suicide are also the ones saying that parents don't have the right to know about that increased risk of suicide. And I'm sorry, it is not compassionate to affirm a kid's confusion. That is not compassion, that is cruelty. I met two young women, Chloe and Katie, early in this campaign, who are in their 20s, now regret getting double mastectomies and a hysterectomy. One of them will never have children. And the fact that we allowed that to happen in this country is barbaric. So I will ban genital mutilation or chemical okay, castration under the age of 18. And parents in, in, have absolutely the right. Would you try right. to pass a federal law that says parents, parents should have that Right. We are going to require yes. states absolutely okay. have to then follow that through. We stand to for parental rights. Yes. You, what I wanted to. All right. See, guys, eh? To be honest, to be frank with you all, I don't really care if a child's parents agree with the transition or not. See, eh? gender surgery, hormones, and puberty. Hetatomio, nomatomio, everything of your atomic blockers for children should be 100% banned. On that penalty of federal child sexual predators charge, they are supposed to be banned. How many innocent children? It's not see, it's not compassionate to offend a child's confusion. It is cruelty. Oh God, Vivek gets it. I think his ideas for policy are exactly what America needs. I'm telling you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, watch, and subscribe to my channel. And have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.